untold level. Yo, 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 what's good? It's your boy General 305, man. I'm back again. Another sneaker review video, man. And today we got a special review for y'all. We got these 2017 Jordan 1 OG High Royals from Lisa. Lisa had these joints. I was like, yo, let me get those so I could do a review. She gave me a decent price. So I was like, all right, cool. She sent them on over. And here we are. This pair is mad nice, but before I get started, make sure you guys understand that this is an educational video. I don't condone the sale or resale of UA goods, and this is a UA shoe. This is not the retail shoe. If you want the retail, you can get it for a resale cost on StockX or GOAT. I will put that on the screen for y'all. Here you go. Y'all know how I do for y'all, just showing y'all the pricing and all of that. If you want to spend that money, go right ahead. But you know my motto. I don't tell you what to do with your money. You do what you want to do with your own money. It's your choice. You do what you got to do. I went ahead with the UAs because I was curious. They were looking extra correct online. So I was like, let me get those, please. Lisa, let me get those. And Lisa's information is right here. You can see it right there. That's her information on Instagram. Go check her out if you want to. That's your choice. Before I break down the shoe, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the shoe, about the content. Maybe you want to see a shoe. Maybe you want me to do a different type of review. Let me know. I'm all ears. Go ahead and check me out on that TikTok. Make sure you guys go check that TikTok out. It is popping. And make sure you like and share it with your friends. Like the video and share it with your friends. I got a lot of content out here. A little something for everybody. Got some retail stuff. Got some great shoes for the low. Check that playlist out. All right. So 2017 Royals got these from Lisa. Like I said, these are super dope. Went ahead and grabbed these. I saw them online. She posted a picture. I was like, nope, let me get those. Let me get those. I need them. As you guys see, it looks just like the Jordan 1 bread, except it's royal. People think that the royal is supposed to be like a dark blue, like a really dark blue. It's not. This is kind of like a weird shade of royal. They had a different type of royal back in the day. And now the recent royal, the more newer style royal, looks a little bit darker. The newer style royal color is more of this type of blue right here this is the jordan one mid uh, i believe this is the royal toe yes i do wear mids as well this is the mid of the royals as you can see in the back but this blue is definitely a different color you guys can see that this is not a camera trick so this is the newer style royal that they're using on the shoe as opposed to this style royal so if you get a, a 2017 royal that looks like this you are on point if you get it and it looks like this on this shoe, it's automatically 100% a call out if somebody else has this royal next to you. They're gonna be like, yo, why your shoe looks so blue? It's not supposed to look like this. It's supposed to look like that one, all right? So this shoe comes with an extra set of laces. As you can see, they come with the royal laces and those match up very nicely with that royal right there. I'm a sucker for the bread style colorway. I love these joints. There's a bunch of different bread style colorways and the Royals is one of them. I think there's about seven or eight shoes or maybe nine, but I'll put the picture up on the screen and you guys can see all of the different variations of the bread style colorway. I'm only missing one of those shoes. I'm only missing one and I will do the video when I get it. But anyway, very, very nice. Wings logo looking good. The leather on these joints, buttery. This leather is so buttery. And then you know it's got that tumbled leather all over this joint. Ankle collar, you can see it already wrinkling up. That joint is very, very nice right there. Wings logo looks good. Heel right here, nice and soft. Got that nice swoosh right there. Black leather going down. And then you got a nice toe box right here. What I like about the Royals is it's not supposed to be super tumbled. I think the tumbling on this batch is like perfect because it's supposed to be tumbled, but it's not supposed to be extra, extra tumbled. Like this is tumbled enough to where it's gonna wrinkle nice, but it's not gonna be too tumbled where it looks like pebble leather you know what i'm saying this is just a nice subtle tumbled leather and that's the way it's supposed to look all right so black mid panel black mud guard blue on the toe right there that royal royal swoosh royal ankle and then you got that royal outsole right there very nice 
medial side of the shoe looks just like lateral side of the shoe and you guys can see that leather is very very soft the black leather is also very very soft on these joints black tongue right here going up and you have a nice nike air right there and that's stitched well sometimes these tags be be looking kind of crazy they be having outlines and all of that but this one is stitched very well looks good and then the insole of the shoe white with that nike air there that is correct standard shoe tree right there right so very very nice shoe so she really came through with these joints i'm glad she was able to get these in my size because i really wanted this pair i was looking for my kick who pair to compare them but i can't find that pair right now there's somewhere in this room i was remodeling this room so once i find them then i'll do a comparison video for y'all so y'all can see the two batches next to each other because this is a really really good batch all right so if i had to rate this shoe on a scale of one to ten um i would rate this shoe a 10 for colorway and for materials used the materials used is crazy these materials are on point i don't think there's anything really that I saw that I didn't like. Might be a little like string or something right here, but other than that, that's nothing I can be, that can be cut. So other than that, the shoe is just, it's a beautiful shoe. It's a beautiful shoe. I really like it. No crazy glue stains and all of that stuff all over it. Just a dope shoe. I'm gonna jump into this on foot. You guys stay humble, you guys stay blessed. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. All right, it's your boy. It's me, I'm back, General in the Flesh. I can't stress to y'all enough how dope this shoe is this shoe is so fire yo the materials on this joint look at the materials on this joint insane on these very 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 nice yo make sure y'all go hit up lisa she got this batch right here this is the batch that y'all want right here. If she got this batch, y'all tripping if y'all don't go to her. Now, I'm not condoning the sale or resale of UA Goods. I'm not. But if you want this batch, you better go to Lisa and see if you can get this joint right here. y'all so i figured i'd answer a question that somebody asked me in my dm about blood since this is a blue shoe why not right I'll, I'll indulge somebody asked me about blood and if it's really blue is there blue blood and is there red blood to answer that question quite simply no there is only red blood blood is red there's a misconception that people think that blood is blue and red but that's not the case in the textbooks and the diagrams and things like that that you see online they have blue blood and red blood to represent Present oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. It's a way for teaching so somebody knows what's a vein and what's an artery. That's really all there is to the blue and the red thing. But to dive a little deeper, blood on the diagram that is represented by blue, the deoxygenated blood, it's blue because it's not oxygenated. Really, the blood is actually just a really, really dark red. Oxygenated blood appears very, very bright red in color. Deoxygenated blood is a very, very dark red dark red. So think about when somebody puts an IV in someone's arm, the blue vein, right? Because that vein is going back to your heart. That's blood that's coming from a place to go back to your heart to get oxygenated, to become bright red again. So just remember, blood is actually red. It's just a dark, dark, dark red or bright red, depending on if it's oxygenated or not. So no blue blood, it's red.